Welcome to Tom's Tech. Doing a post-Michigan 49-24 victory over the Minnesota Gophers for the little brown chuck. Michigan has not lost a game in Minneapolis. I was in school back then. 1977, they lost 16-0. That's a long time ago that the Wolverines lost last time in Minnesota. Good, good win. I, listen, I, I thought the Wolverines were going to lose this game. I really did. I thought this was one of the two losses they were going to have a Big Ten play. 49-24, though, that's superb. Joe Milton, 15 of 22, 225 yards passing, another 52 on the ground. Big and strong, 6'5", 240 pounds. No, I'm not going to get all hyped up. It's like, oh, Joe Milton for Heisman. Nope, not doing that. I've never, I've never done that. This is about winning football games. In Michigan, as they strive to win their first Big Ten title since 2004, this was a great start. Four running backs, eight wide receivers involved in the offense. That's that's just terrific. Blake Corum, a true freshman, he got the first touch of the game, big play, on a bubble screen. I, yeah, I'm excited. I am. Michigan's offensive line came together, even though they, you know, they had, in essence, four starters uh, they had to replace, although there's been some experience on that, uh, as we've talked about in the past. Quinny Payne, Aiden Hutchinson, terrific bookends. Michael Barrett was an animal out there. He got the, he got the sack, and all of a sudden, Donovan Dieter's prancing into the end zone. Yep, it's one game. And coming up, Sparty. Yeah, snicker, snicker. Oh, they're going to blow out Michigan. Oh, it'll be about 24, 28 points. But I, no, this is the rival. This game means so much. And when Michigan State turns the ball over seven times, of course they're going to lose the football game. It, usually it's like five turnovers. You are not. You have no chance of winning a football game. They turn it over seven times. We'll talk more about that on Monday. It's kind of savoring this win. Bottom line, though, it's great to have Big Ten football back. I know there's no fans. I know it was kind of a sterile environment, but I was all about it last night in Minneapolis. For Tom's Take, we'll talk to you Monday. Be safe.